Hi everyone. Today I would like to do a quick video of uh, aim assist on Apex Legends on the PC. So my video is going to be broken down into uh, showing you uh, the recoil control between the controller and PC, and then showing you how target compensation works uh, for the controller, as well as giving you contrasting that with the PC. And then finally, I'm going to rant uh, about um, is, is aim assist good or bad for Apex Legends, in my opinion. Uh, as a full disclaimer, the only people who can honestly tell us how Apex aim assist really works is Respawn Entertainment. So anything I say here is basically bullshit. Okay, this is just what I've noticed. This is just what I think. Um, take that as you will. Okay, so now let's take a quick look here getting started. Okay, so here we go. You see my character. I get my shots lined up here straight at the testicles. Perfect. Okay, so this is with controller. I let it fly. I'm not pushing anything on the controller. Here. It's just me holding the aim button down and the fire. And you can see that it, you know, this is R99. It shoots straight up. And, uh, you know, sometimes does a little bit of damage to the second target, but nothing, um, super crazy. Okay. So that's what this, that's what just, I guess the recoil looks like on a controller. Very exciting. Those testicles are really getting shot up. Uh, that dummy is having a great time. And now I think I'm going to go into the options menu here. And yeah, you can see I went in here. I made sure that I didn't have my hand on the mouse for when I'm testing the, uh, the recoil on the mouse and keyboard. So I set up the, um, aim down sights and the fire to O and P very useful buttons, highly recommended for PC users to use those two keys as their aim and, uh, shoot. All right. So now this is just me aim down sight, push the fire button on the keyboard, see where the recoil lands. You can see it's honestly, it seems exactly the same to me as controller. I, I don't, I don't know if there's supposed to be recoil compensation on controller. Um, it doesn't seem like there is compared to what I played. And from what I can tell, there's not a lot of recoil on a lot of the guns anyway. Now testing how the target compensation works on the controller. Uh, so basically all this is, if you slew, if, if you slew, if you slow this down, you'll see that as soon as my crosshair goes over, basically gets in the vicinity of the dummy, the controller sensitivity goes, goes down automatically. Uh, just a touch, just a hair, the sensitivity automatically goes down. Um, giving you, giving you what, what, you know, I think some people describe it as like a stickiness, right? Um, and then this is, I think this is the part where most people think that, that like that controller maybe is insane. Is this right here? This is the target compensation at work. So it basically pulls your character's view ever so slightly towards the target when you pass by them. So you can see my, my character's body turns ever so slightly, um, as the crosshair, you know, goes over and past. So you want to get rid of that slight pull. Here's where you have to go. Custom look controls have to be on. All right. You have to turn that on and then you have to turn off target compensation. Yeah. Rub it down. Ooh. Turn off that and then boom, all of a sudden your controller aim no longer, uh, has the automatic, um, target compensation and no longer pulls you in any direction. There's no more, the sensitivity of the control stick of the aim doesn't get lower. Um, as you get closer, as your, as your cursor goes over the enemy here, actually, I think I show it. Yeah. You see, it's like a more linear, um, sensitivity uh, across all things.
So that's what target compensation does. That is the big aim assist of Apex Legends. I think I barely had any mouse room there. That's why I look so stilted while I try to move the mouse. I'm also terrible on a mouse. Um, so, so cool. So that's, so that's target compensation for, um, Apex Legends. That's, uh, that's what the aim assist in the game does. So now it's, now it's my favorite part of the video where I just get to rant a little bit about, um, how I feel about aim assist in the game. Um, I think it's great, honestly. Um, controller aim already is, uh, I would say, I don't think there's anybody on the uh, gaming world that would say that uh, controller aim is easier than mouse and keyboard. You obviously have way more fine control with mouse and keyboard. There's no secret. I think having aim assist for controller allows accessibility for folks who can't necessarily use a keyboard and mouse on the PC. Um, and I don't think splitting up player bases uh, on the consoles and the PCs um, necessarily in this day and age of video gaming promotes any kind of purity. Like, I don't think it, I don't really think it benefits anybody so much. Uh, I think having the accessibility and allowing everybody to compete with each other uh, helps make games better. Um, and for instance, in my personal experience, personal life, I have... Uh, tendinitis and ulnar nerve pain in my right arm. So I can't play with mouse and keyboard for that long of a time before it starts to cause me a lot of discomfort. So being able to use both keyboard and mouse uh, and controller then still be able to play with my PC friends means a lot to me personally. Um, I think obviously crossplay is the next big step, I think, for gaming. I think we're going to see a lot more of that in the future. It's obviously coming to Apex Legends. I personally hope they continue to keep the aim assist as they have it. Um, if anything, I think they can, and I keep calling it aim assist, and I feel like target compensation is maybe if we started calling it that, it wouldn't be such a boogeyman to people. Um, but it, it helps uh, with, with people who can't use the keyboard and mouse. And I think instead of talking about removing it completely from the game in terms of like ranked matches and stuff, we should be talking more about how it can be tuned to better facilitate um, an even playing field between keyboard players and controller players. So... Do I think it needs to go? No, I feel like it's, I mean, I'm obviously biased. I play on the controller the most. I think it's right around fine. Um, honestly, personally, I think the target compensation can be really, really annoying sometimes. For instance, if you're in a firefight and you want to pull away from the target to like run away or something, your sensitivity is lower because if you were aimed on the target, so you might have trouble turning and running away or if you're coming up like a flight of stairs or something you'll you might have to really tug on the control stick to try to pull your aim down to level it out and shoot the person who is up above you so i think target compensation is good and also bad there might be a few very very specific scenarios where a controller up close is better quotation marks than mouse and keyboard but I think it's such, such specific isolated circumstances that worrying about it is not worth anybody's time. So, um, if you get killed by a controller player and you want to whine about it, that's fine. I think gamers, I, it's not even specific to gamers. I think anybody in general, if you can find an excuse to, um, blame anything other than the mistakes or misplays you might have made um that's just what people do if you can if there's something you can blame it on you're gonna do it so if you want to blame your losses on controller players go for it um but i don't think i i i 
urge you to consider the folks who can't necessarily play on keyboard and mouse and to keep them included in, in the game, um, in the player base, even for ranked. Um, we're all part of the community. I think it's healthier overall for the game to have the more players competing, the better. Um, and, and if you do have a problem with aim assist, try to figure out what aspect of aim assist needs to be adjusted. Um, cause I don't think it's going to get removed. I don't, any, you know, controller aims, you don't have that much range of motion with your, th as much range of motion with your thumb. So having the function of the sensitivity lowering, um, is, uh, when you, when you have, when you have your target lined up, um, gives you just a little bit, you know, it gives you just that much more control. Okay. Rant over. I ranted enough. I support controller players. I support keyboard and mouse players. I don't think there's anything to worry about. If you lose to controller players and you want to whine about it, that's your prerogative. I don't think it's worth your time because <laughs> I don't think it's that powerful, except in some very isolated scenarios, maybe. Um, if you'd like to watch me play the video game, you can check me out on twitch.tv slash Ridgar. Otherwise, don't come to my channel. I'm very bad at the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye now.